Chapter 9. How many times? Multiplying is like jumping down the number line. Let's look at a sum on this number line. So, for example, if you have 8 times 3, starting from 0, you would jump the number line by 3 numbers 8 times. So here we go. There's 1, 1 jump, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So when you jump 8 times, you will see that the answer is 24. Then let's try doing another one. Let's do 5 times 2. This means you'll jump on every second number of the number line starting at 0 5 times. So starting from 0, we jump 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And now we reach 10. So 5 times 2 equals 10. Let's try 3 times 7. So we'll jump on every 7th number 3 times. Starting from 0 again, we go 1, 2, 3, and we reach 21. That was pretty easy, huh? So now we'll teach you about multiplication tables. The multiplication table of 2 is 2 times 1 equals 2. 2 times 2 equals 4. 2 times 3 equals 6. 2 times 4 equals 8. 2 times 5 equals 10. 2 times 6 equals 12. 2 times 7 equals 14. 2 times 8 equals 16. 2 times 9 equals 18. 2 times 10 equals 20. We have many other videos that teach you about multiplication tables and that also shows you multiplication tricks. Click on the link to watch them. Let's do a problem with a big number. Let's look at 43 times 2. When you get such a problem, I know it may look hard, but this is what you do. You split the number. In this case, 43 would become 40 plus 3. Then you multiply 40 by 2, which is 80, and 3 by 2, which is 6, and then you add them up together to get 86. Let's try one more example. Say we have a book, and this book has 67 pages. I know, that's a lot of pages to read, isn't it? Well, anyway, what will the total number of pages in 12 of these kind of books B. So let's first split 67 into 60 plus 7 and 12 into 10 plus 2. So let's first multiply 60 times 10, which is 600. Then 60 times 2 is 120. Then 7 times 10 is 70. 7 times 2 is 14. So now let's add up all of these numbers. We have 600 plus 120 plus 70 plus 14. Now let's start adding them up from the ones column. We have 0, 0, 0, plus 4. So we would write 4 in the ones column. Now in the tens column, we have 0 plus 2 plus 7 plus 1. So that would be 10. So we would write 0 here and carry the 1 over to the hundreds column. So now in the hundreds column, we have 6 plus 1 plus 1 would be 8. 
So the answer is 804. Wasn't that really simple? See, try solving more interesting problems like these. Keep practicing, and I'm sure you get really good at it. We'll see you later next time, and bye bye